Hi guys and welcome back to my channel! For a long time I've been toying with the idea of doing a drop this again challenge to see how much my skills have changed in almost 10 years. Are you curious? Keep watching! In today's video I will be reviewing the Artex acrylic paint markers. This time it's a set of 30 colored acrylic paint markers in version A. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, you will know that I've been working with this brand for a while now and I love their products. Their acrylic markers are my favorite art supplies and I fell in love with them the first time I used them. With each new set of Artex markers that I try, I fall even more in love with this brand and the attention they pay to the smallest details. I think I will enjoy it again, so let's see what's inside. Here we find a thank you card, sticker sheet to label your markers and two levels of acrylic marker trays. As I mentioned when reviewing the previous set of 36 acrylic markers from Artex, it's hard to get the first level out. As I mentioned in that video, it would have been a good solution to have ribbons on both sides of the tray so that you could have a grip and easily pull the tray out. Unfortunately, my long nails make this difficult it's not very inconvenient, but I think it would be a good way to achieve perfection in every way. So let's move on to labeling the markers for color identification. When I was putting together a review of a set of 36 colors of acrylic markers from Artex, I was surprised to find that the markers had the color numbers printed on the marker itself. Previous sets had stickers in the set, some even with two types each, which could be stuck to the side and top of the marker. I also checked various reviews by other artists, many of whom questioned where this solution was coming from and suggested that these color identification numbers could simply be printed on the marker itself. As this was a new product from the Artex brand, I think the opinions of different artists and customers influenced how the new product would look. This shows that the brand cares about its customers and listens to their needs. In this set we have stickers again, but it is still a slightly older set. Even though it is a lot of work to put each sticker on each marker one by one, I personally think it is a lot of fun. So let's talk about color swatches. I printed out the template I had prepared on watercolor paper and set to work. I made the same mistake as last time because to test the coverage of the white marker I fill a square with an alcohol marker. What did it look like in practice? The alcohol marker dissolved its ink underneath and mixed with the white acrylic marker. With each successive layer the same thing happened and I stained the tip of the marker with black ink. As you will see later in this episode, the white marker works very well on a clean surface or mixed with another acrylic marker. I can confidently point out at this stage that the advantage of these markers is that they are quick drying, waterproof and permanent when dry. This means that there is no possibility of the ink being absorbed by another marker when the surface is dry as happened with my mistaken test of the coverage of the white marker. I should just use black paper for that or fill the square with a black acrylic marker from this set. The colors are very opaque and the markers have very good coverage. I wouldn't say 100% because it would be difficult for such an opaque pigment to work as a marker while this one provides perfect and sufficient coverage. For many of the colors, one coat is enough, while for a few, two coats are needed for full coverage. 
Usually only one coat is needed for dark colors and two or three coats for lighter colors. It's known that it's harder to cover a dark surface with a light color than the other way around, but I think the markers handle it well, so I rate their coverage very highly. The colors also don't fade or smudge, so I'm really pleased. What other great thing does this set of markers have that I need to mention? These acrylic markers are very easy to apply and no need to shake and press for tips while using, you only need to open the cap to use the pen. To give you an idea of what most other brands of acrylic markers are like, you usually have to shake them first to mix the pigment well and then press the tip against the paper to activate the marker. This can often be quite a time-consuming and messy process, as you often can't control the amount of pigment that goes into the tip of the marker when activating, and it's easy to make an unwanted stain. The Artex brand has really done a good job with this set, because these markers are just ready for use. What's more? The markers are light in weight, comfortable to use, and the round pen body makes it comfortable to grip. The set of these acrylic markers provides water-based smooth ink and excellent coverage for a variety of surfaces, including paper, rock painting, metal, wood, plastic, ceramics, and much more. There is also a word about storing markers. When not in use, they should be stored horizontally. Also remember to close the cap tightly to prevent the markers from drying out inside. With high quality certificated ink, odorless and non-toxic makes these markers safe for both kids and adults. Let's take a little break so I can tell you about the drawing I'm doing today. The original drawing was made almost exactly 9 years ago. It was a gift for my friend Sue, who also designs her own characters and one of them I really liked was the blue-haired Anisha. It wasn't the beginning of my drawing career, but I think it was a kind of turning point for me where I felt that I had made some progress and that my current style was beginning to take shape. However, I still didn't feel satisfied with my art. I had a huge problem with anatomy, I wasn't able to use references to make my work easier, I wasn't able to observe or analyze in any way the silhouette of a person, their muscles, how the body is arranged. I think I am still not satisfied with the results of my art. In fact, until I compared the two pieces, I thought I hadn't progressed at all. It was a nice feeling to see that I was developing. Even at this sketch stage, I noticed how much my anatomical skills had improved. I may not be progressing as fast as others or as much as I would like, but I'm still doing it and when I look back, I feel proud and pleased with myself. If, like me, you feel like you are standing still and not making any progress, sit down and do this challenge for fun. Pick a drawing you did 1, 5 or 10 years ago. You will notice what aspects have improved and what aspects still need improvement. I also think that seeing your progress will give you more motivation to keep working. Also, this challenge is a good way to make when you are art blocked or if you have no idea what to draw. Have you done this challenge before? Are you happy with the results you achieved in the time between drawings? A lot of you ask me how I blend the colors because you have a problem with it and with me the blending between the colors is really smooth. If you watch the video carefully, 
You might have noticed that I use acrylic markers in a very similar way to painting with paint. I pour some water into a cup, take a brush, moisten it lightly and when the markers aren't quite dry, I blend the colors on with it. It's a really great way to make delicate transitions between colors. I would like to apologize for the way my voice sounds in this video. I've been feeling cold for a while now, I have a sore throat and the last period has been quite stressful for me. This is probably why my body needs to relieve itself by getting sick. It's been hard for me to concentrate lately and I can get my thoughts together. I hope this time will pass quickly and everything will get back to normal. All in all, I am delighted with this set of acrylic markers from Artex. This doesn't surprise me at all as I love their products and their acrylic markers are my favorite art supplies. In fact, every set of their acrylic markers has something unique about it. In the description of the video you will find all the information you need about this set, so have a look there and in the Artex shop. I guarantee you will find something you like, the range of colors is really wide. I also invite you to check out my other videos where I test other marker sets from this brand. Finally, I would like to say a big thank you to the Artix brand for the trust and another chance to work with your brand. You really do a great job and it is a great honor to work with you. I feel like I'm being very chaotic today, sorry. I also don't know what happened at some points in this video because the camera focus wasn't cooperating. What you won't see in this video is the process of doing the line art with gouache which brings out the whole drawing perfectly. To complete this sketchbook page I glued a color swatch to the other side. This is the finished drawing and an older version. Can you see the progress I've made? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!